Hello guys, in this video I'm going to explain behavior trees in 5 minutes. So, the key problem solved by behavior trees is what to do next. Imagine you have a robot or an agent in a computer game and you have a bunch of actions and you need to choose from those. What to do next? Using a finite state machine to answer the question of what to do next, your setup would look like this. You have a bunch of actions and then you add transitions in between those and rules for when to make these transitions. The problem is there's going to be a lot of transitions to consider. And each action needs to know what to do next, what other action to transit to. And that question is very hard and you need to get it right for all the transitions of all the actions. In a behavior tree, however, each action only needs to know, did I succeed or did I fail or am I still trying? So you have the parent of each action that sends down a tick requesting you to act and then you return success, failure or running. Then who decides what to do next? Well, it's the ancestors of the actions. That sounds a bit like magic, but it's not. There are two fundamental compositions of actions that helps to answer the question what to do next. There's the fallback denoted by a question mark and you can think of it as or. And then there's a sequence denoted by an arrow and you can think of it as and. So for the fallback, we have this example, eat sandwich or eat apple. And the rule is this, if you fail in the first action, then you take the next child, else you return the same as the child. So you try eating the sandwich, if that fails, you go on to eat the apple. But if eat sandwich is running, you keep running. If eat sandwich succeeds, then you're happy, you're not hungry anymore. The sequence, on the other hand, uh, here we have an example, to peel the banana and eat the banana. Clearly, it's not an or here, it's more of an and situation. You want to peel the banana and then eat the banana. Uh, so the corresponding rule, if you have a success, you take the next child, else you return the same as a child. So the rule inside this rectangle here is exactly the same, but with failure and success swapped. So it's only if you succeed in peeling the banana that you want to eat the banana. If you're running, then you keep running, trying to peel the banana. If you failed in peeling banana, most people would not try to eat the banana. So now we connect these two uh, compositions of two actions each to a small behavior tree, and then we're going to see what happens when we run it. So. There's a tick going down. All behavior trees are run by ticks at some frequency, say 10 times a second or whatever your system uh, can handle or how fast your dynamic works. Uh, and then we have success running and failure return statuses indicated by uh, up pointing arrows in green, yellow and red. So executing this behavior tree, as always, you tick the root and the root takes its first child, eat sandwich. So imagine eat sandwich returns failure, then this fallback, getting failure, ticks the next child, uh, which is eat apple. Imagine this returns running, then the root returns running uh, and the agent eats the apple. But imagine instead we failed eating the apple, okay? Then the fallback ticks its next, next child, which is a sequence node. The sequence ticks its first child, peel banana. Imagine peel banana succeeded. Then the sequence, if success ticks the next child, goes on to tick eat banana. And if eat banana returns running, then running goes all the way up and the agent eats the banana. So that's how a behavior tree executes. And that's how the ancestors of an action decides what to do next. So there's a bunch of further ideas in behavior trees that you might want to explore, such as safety guarantees using behavior trees, backchaining designs, decision trees, swarm control, human-robot interaction, convergence guarantees for behavior trees, genetic programming, utility behavior trees, 
additional node types such as the parallel or decorators, delays and so on. Uh, and then combination of behavior trees and controlled barrier functions for instance. Uh, lots of stuff to explore. Bye.